Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at one of the best Class C motorhomes, perfect for state and national parks, that gives you a sofa and a dinette. This is a 2021 Winnebago Spirit Model 26T. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Winnebago and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you the true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at the Winnebago Spirit. It's such a small, compact floor plan and I love the way they designed it. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everybody! Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Black Friday everybody! Yes! I hope you guys are getting some good deals today. Yes! I've been already shopping on the internet and whoa, I'm uh, going crazy. Absolutely, Andrea, speaking of good deals, don't we have a good deal? We do! Bing! What's your deal? What's our deal? Oh my goodness, uh, what is our deal? It's 25% off all merchandise. See, I'm already, I'm, I'm just so flabbergasted by all the sales out there, I've yes. got my own. Yes, it's uh, on our Teespring store. Yes. We have three ways to get there. One, by going to our website. Two, you'll see a little bar under this video. Or three, we have a link in the description below. Just use promo code 250FF, 25 off, and you're saving 25%. And everything ordered this weekend uh, is guaranteed to arrive by Christmas. Thanks, Matt. Yeah, <laughs> let's begin. Model is 26T, but the actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 27 feet, one inch. This is such a great size motorhome if you're looking to go to state and national parks. Now this is the Winnebago Spirit. It is the sister product to the Winnebago Mini Winnie. Mini Winnie is the more popular name, but they're sister products. Uh, right up here, we do have a nice fiberglass front bra. And what that is, is when the side fiberglass meets here, and then there's a cap right here. It's a, a lot better system to do it that way, and it's less likely to leak. It is powered on an E450 chassis. It does have the new 7.3 liter Godzilla engine. 350 horsepower with 468 foot-pounds of torque. Right there, Andrea. Look at it. We have the Dynapro tires, hand cooks. I love those. They are the uh, LT225 75 R16. And then right here, we do have chrome mirrors on each side. And then look at that. Cameras integrated in the left side, right side, and reverse. Uh, coming down the side here, you can see that how they have this tan color. And here's something that kind of looks nice. They included some of the tan in the cab right here. You know. Oh, we're going over storage. Yes. And then we have some storage right there. Right here, Andrea, is our propane tanks. And we will have all the propane tank sizes, lengths, widths, specs, everything about this motorhome down in the description below. Also, right here, bing, for everybody who's watching on television. All right. Check that out. Uh, we do have cable and hookup on the outside with power. Uh, because this is a Winnebago, they do use the Asdale sidewall composite, which is a green base material that will never delaminate on you. And Andrea, look at this nice power awning with LED lights. That's a big awning. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. Very cute pattern. Yes, I love the pattern. Also, you can see that there is LED light strip underneath at the end of the awning. Finishing up, what is this? That's very peculiar. Heater. Oh, yeah, here's the water heater. I love how they did this with the tan color. Look at what's going on here. Is that the exhaust? Well, yeah, but th this is on a hinge, but there's no handle. That's very weird. Never seen anything like that. And then right here, we do have more storage. Okay, pass through. Yep. Coming around the back, Andrea, we have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. 7,500 pound hitch. Now that does not mean this motorhome can tow 7,500 pounds. Uh, you're good for 5,000 pounds, but always make sure you weigh your motorhome before you tow. No before you tow. Uh, right there, we do have a backup camera. Also, we have a ladder to get up on the roof. Let's go up there and take a look. 
You ready? Here we go now. All right, hold on. Here we go. Up here on the roof, you can see it is a wet and slippery one-piece fiberglass roof. So I'm not gonna climb up there today. We do have one AC unit right there. It is a 30 amp motorhome. And then right there's your digital antenna. And then you can see your place for Max Air fans right there. Okay, Ready? Matt, hold on. Here we go. Last step. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What an RV salesman's goal take his fat ass up on the roof. Show you what features roof has to offer. Nobody. The customer's like right there, <laughs> so they don't want to scream it. Okay, finishing up. Right there, oh. we do have some storage right there. Very awesome. nice. Awesome, and that is the other side of the storage here. Uh-huh. Very nice. Very nice, I like. Right over here, you have a little bit of extra storage. And then right here on that, Drea, this is where you hook up your black and gray tank and you pull off the dump valves. I love the positioning of that. Right here's your city water fill, tank fill, potable water fill. Potable, potable. Cable hookup. Here's where you fill up your fuel. And then here we have a black tank flush. Finishing up. Right here, you can see a little bit more storage. This is your 30 amp power cord. I love that. Right here, a little bit more storage. And then right here, Andre, is gonna be your generator. It is a Onan 4000 generator. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. Cargo carrying capacity. Uh, I don't see it. It's we'll probably on, it the, on door. the door. Okay. So the slide is in. Oh, auto leveling jacks as well. Oh, that's great. Watch out. Let me get through here so oh, I can sorry. show everybody the walkway here to the bathroom, which is plenty of space. Here is the bathroom and there is the bed. It is a fold up. Cargo carrying capacity, 2,928 pounds. Wow. Very good. Now, Andrea, while the slide out's coming out, we have a huge favor to ask everyone. If you could, please leave that in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about this motorhome and three things you don't like about this motorhome. The more people to comment and smash that thumbs up button, the more YouTube likes to promote our videos. And Andrea. Yes. Uh, for those people who know, uh, we did start selling your um, Andre and Yuna stickers today. Yay! Bing! By the time you're watching this video, honestly, they're probably sold out because they're selling really fast. But listen, we thank each and every person who bought one and we're donating 200% of the money, yes, to an animal charity on Tuesday. Um, so what we're doing is all the stickers sold, that's 100%. And then Andrea and I are matching that. That's right. And we're going to donate it on Tuesday, which is called giving tuesday did you know that i didn't so it's thanksgiving black friday cyber monday and giving tuesday i didn't know thank that. you guys so much for so your we're support. gonna do that we thank absolutely everybody who bought one and hey we love our fur babies right don't let me see them stickers on ebay <laughs> <laughs> okay andrea let's get started up here on the cockpit area so check this out this is a new 2021 dash Winnebago buys a different chassis than everybody else. Look at this digital screen. Uh, I talked to the factory rep and he didn't know what I was talking about with this screen being different from the competition, but they definitely order a different screen and I like it better. You have your uh, digital dash here, your fuel economy, and it just looks better and it looks more modern. Right here, we do have our side cameras. Apple, this works with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Wow. Left side, right side, and reverse. That's awesome. And your cup, uh, cup holders. holders right there. Andrea, how do you feel in, on my, uh, in, in the passenger seat? It feels okay. Um, I'm just wondering about this. Yep, yep, for sure. So uh, it will go back. Uh, I think. Not let, much. Let me try. Not much. Yeah, not much, but it's we'll better, talk about than, that in a better than bit. it used to be because of that opening. Yep, for sure. All right. Cool. We do have a nice, oh, let me turn this off. Bunk over the cab. Yes, ma'am. This bunk over the cab holds how much? Probably 500. It's, it was either 350 or 500, and I always forget it. Nice bunk over the cab. You have a place to install a Max Air fan right there. 
up above. And then your TV's right there. Very small TV. Um, but it is Hold adjustable. This, oh, you go get it, Andrea? I am because I know a lot of customers or view our viewers want to see this. Yep. So that's I mean, about it. This is about it, guys. Yep. So small TV, DVD player right there. And then across from the TV, we do have our theater seats. I like those. So first and Let's foremost, check the cabinets. Nice, nice cabinets above. Okay. Again, Winnebago going to the DIY look um, in every motorhome that they have, which we'll talk about in a little bit as well. Oh. And then, can't, that that's not working, but don't worry, that'll get taken care of. But it's a nice big window. And then right here, Andre, look at these theater seats. This is what people want. Yes, absolutely. And you got a USB port right there oh, too. Oh yeah, look. very nice. That's cool. USB cup holders. Very, very Hold nice. Hold this for a second. This is going to drive me crazy, everybody. I'm sorry. Fix it. I need to see if it at least will turn yeah. this way for people to watch. Yep. Which is better, right? It is better, but definitely not a prime TV watching Above position. Here we have the cabinetry. Yes, ma'am. Very nice cabinetry. Plenty of space back there. And then here's what I like. MCD shades. Uh-huh. With a nice big U-shaped oh, dinette. That dinette. This is awesome, Andrea. I love the U-shaped dinette. Plenty of people can sit around. Nice big window. Very clean look. Very. Swing that table around. That's so cool, right? Yep. Yep. Oh, very nice. And Matt, I want to show the back of this real quick. Uh huh. So as you can see right here, you guys, when I was trying to push a chair back, it used to be where the whole dinette was a piece here and you couldn't really move, but at least there's a little bit more space to make it more comfortable so you can put the chair back a little bit. Right, and we'll also touch on that a little bit later as well. Well, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. <laughs> MSRP on this motorhome here is... One hundred and thirty two thousand forty nine dollars MSRP sale price. We have it 25% off to ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. That is expensive for a class C, but Andrea, it doesn't matter what the sale price is on this motorhome. We can always get people a little bit of a better sale price than that. Why don't you tell everybody what to do? You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. That's my personal cell phone. Or send me an email at mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Or better yet, go to mattsrvreviews.com. We have a contact me form with three options. If you're ready to buy this motorhome, click option one. A member from my team will reach out to you ASAP. If you have questions comparing this unit to another unit that I can't say on camera, not a problem. Do number two and I'll be able to answer your comparison questions within 24 hours. Or if it's just a generalized question, click number three and we don't answer that as often, not ASAP, but we do answer everyone. But Andrea, it doesn't matter if they pick option three, two, or one, what's the one thing they all have in common? They'll get the best price in America. Let's continue the video. Okay, I want to point out, for some reason, I really like this handle. Yep, really nice handle. Yeah. Looks like we got a little, oh, look at that, you Pretty guys. Pretty nice, not so little, Adjustable yeah. shelf. I thought it was going to be a teeny tiny coat closet, yep, but look nope. at that. Very nice. Uh, shelves up here. Uh-huh. All right, so this kitchen is very interesting. Yes. One thing I noticed right away, we'll touch on that later. Um, we got a cabinet here. Very nice. We got a round sink. Uh-huh. Extension. We got a cabinet down here, Matt, for a little trash can. Yep. Electrical outlet. Ooh. And some drawers. One, two, yes. three, four. Very nice. We got a microwave. Uh-huh. And a three burner cooktop. Yes. Very and nice. And an oven. Very nice. Love that. A nice drawer down here. Mm -hmm. And then here, it looks like we have some pantry space. Yep. Oh, I like that. They gave you the drawers. Yes, yeah, pretty super nice. cool. And we got the two way refrigerator. 
runs off your propane and shore power. Absolutely. Now back over here to the kitchen. Uh-huh. This is pretty interesting. Solid surface countertop, by the way, that I totally missed. Very nice in the class C like so, this. So look at this. This is very interesting because yep. normally it's only a little bit, but I like how they did that. It's elongated. Yes. <laughs> very nice. And under here we have another cabinet. Let me put this down. Oh, a lot easier for me. Over here is another cabinet. Look at this, wow. guys. And it has a drawer here. Very nice. So that's awesome. And then right here, the, I mean, that, that could even be considered part of the pantry oh, area. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, that's that? a wardrobe. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah, a it's wardrobe. Yeah, it's all together. Got a drawer here, nice big drawer. And then on the other side, we got the wardrobe. Yeah, it's all connected into one. Very nice. Very good. And then another drawer right there. Wow, Matt, I'm actually impressed if they have a pocket door on this. Yeah. Yeah, pocket door for privacy. And then right here is your queen size bed. It does fold up to get in. Um, not super mad about that in a motorhome this length. You got the side windows right there. Very a nice. A little bit of a nightstand. Power and USB. Mm -hmm. And then we got storage above. And then we have another cabinet up there. Uh -huh. And I, I do like the cross ventilation for the windows. Yes. Very nice. Outlet, and then you have a big window right here, which is your exit window. And then laying out down from the bed, you do have a TV right there. Cute little room. Very nice. All within a great, the, the length of this motorhome to get into national and state parks. Yep. Right over here in the bathroom. We got a pocket door. Uh, yep. Oh, it's, yeah. It's That's interesting. We're going to have to show that. Yep, right there we do have a little medicine cabinet with your mirror. mirror. Look at this door, this. you guys. So, this is pretty cool. Oh, wow. I've never seen a door like this before. We, we, we have... Or, or it wasn't on this, it was on something else. It was on something else. Ace, well, 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 or no, an access or something. Yeah, we've only seen it one time. It's cool. Very, very creative. I like the square sink, you guys. It's very cute. Uh -huh. We got a cabinet underneath. Yep, another and... cabinet right there. Then we have a fan up there. Yep. And Matt, how's that shower? Okay, it's okay. It's a thirty, um, it's a thirty by twenty-four. Not the biggest shower, not the smallest shower. Right there, we not have a that. Door. And uh, looks like it's got plenty of height. Yep. I mean, it, it works for this small floor plan. And then right here is the toilet. It's now time for the toilet test. Oh wow! Wow. Plastic? Not proud. A plastic toilet. In a hundred thousand dollar motorhome, with solid surface countertops. With solid surface, <laughs> right, right, right. It's not even, and, and the cargo, even with that, the cargo carry capacity was twenty eight or twenty nine hundred pounds. Twenty nine hundred. That's a shame. But Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what do we do with first? Three things we dislike about it. Okay, well that's gonna be very easy. Um, one, the toilet. What the heck are you doing? Plastic toilet in a hundred thousand dollar motorhome? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Don't worry though. Here's the good news about all plastic toilets. We can swap them out for porcelain toilets. Um, and I would one hundred percent do that in this motorhome. That just doesn't make any sense to me. I hear you. So that's one. I don't. My dislike, you guys. I do not like this swivel. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I just small TV. I am yep. Not a fan of it. Yep. Small TV. Not a big enough swivel not arm. Not a fan. So that's I, my dislike. I hear you. So that's two. And then here's my dislike. And and you guys been hearing me say this a lot about the Winnebagos. Uh, my opinion, Winnebagos getting really lazy with their Class A's and Class C's with this DIY look, right? So here's the deal. This is the same exact look as in their Outlook entry-level Class C, their Intent entry-level Class A, their Spirit Mini Winnie high-end Class C, and their Winnebago Adventure high-end Class A. I do not like that. That's very lazy how they're doing that with the, I call it DIY, design it yourself. Um, but there's no patterns. Now, if this was the Outlook or the Intent, entry level i like that to try to save money but when you're in a upper echelon class c 
You should not be this lazy when a bagel. I agree. I think that it should have different um, features on it, especially in the interior, to make it look different. Yep. And, you know, because it is a cut above the others, yep. it needs to have its own design. It needs to have its own look. Yes. I should not, I should be able to walk in this and say, oh, okay. This is th a base model. No, no, I should, right. Well, I should be able to walk in it and say, oh, okay, this is a Winnebago Spirit. But it's not a base model, which is funny. Right. But when you walk in here, you think it. Yep. You know? So that's just my opinion about the matter. With that said, it does look great. I do like the way it looks. I just, my, my whole point is, I don't like how they're doing this look in every single, that's what I'm I saying. I agree. I do think it looks good though. So that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. I, I'm going first because I absolutely love the storage in here. Yeah. I am sorry. This is insane. Why are you sorry? It's I mean, amazing. This is just crazy. Like this is a small motorhome. Yep. But look at this. You've got adjustable shelves. Yep. And just the fact that you have this pantry space here. Uh-huh. I mean, and a double wardrobe. Yep. I mean, it's just, it's fantastic. Andrea, that kind of I blends into the number two thing I love about this motorhome. It's just the floor plan design. Um, oh, I have a fourth dislike as well. But um, I love the U-shaped dinette. I love the theater seats. I love the design of this motorhome while still being 27 feet long. Very awesome, very nice, and I really do love that. Uh, I have another dislike. I forgot about it. I don't like how this chair, you know, sits yeah. up. It, it needs to be fixed. I don't, no, it's not broken, but you know what I'm saying. Um, you just need more space up there in the I cab. I agree. Okay, so that's number two, and then do you have a number three? Okay, here's what I'm going to say. I do like some of the higher-end finishes in here. I like how you don't have heat ducts in the floor. I like the solid surface countertops. I like the theater seats. I like how you have this pocket door. I like that bathroom door. It makes the bathroom very spacious. And I like the auto leveling, and I like the upgraded Ford cab with that digital screen up front. You know, it's just really nice touches. And again, this motorhome is gonna be perfect for the person who loves state and national parks. And this is also perfect for the person who walks into those motorhomes and says, oh my God, who designed this? Cause this is DIY, you can design it yourself. And that's what I love about RVs. Like this is not the motorhome for me, but it might be the motorhome for you. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this motorhome, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's my personal cell phone number. Or again, even better, go to the website mattsrvreviews.com and email the contact form. That's the best way to get in contact with me. Also, our promo code for Black Friday was 25OFF. Uh, links down in the description below and if you're in the market for a small class C like this in a few seconds you're gonna see the competition in these two videos right here I think you should go check out these videos because this is what I would personally recommend to you if you like a floor plan like this Andre do you have anything you want to say yes hey everybody thank you so much for watching let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike Winnebago will be reading the comments so, of course, you guys, we appreciate your feedback. We want to change RV history. Yes. Um, I, I hope you guys are having a happy shopping day on Black Friday. And I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Click another video, smash that thumbs up button, and Andrea, we'll see you next time.